When a customer brings their collision damage vehicle to you, it's in everyone's best interest to complete the repair as quickly as possible. Start by asking the customer upfront how many days the insurance company told them the repair would take. Also, ask how many days of rental the insurer allowed for. This will help you understand what the customer's expectations are. Give them an estimated time for the repairs that's currently known, without factoring in the wait for parts and for insurance company approvals and or additional visits. Explain to your customer the average number of days it takes to obtain parts for their vehicle make model. A two or three day part wait time is normal, but sometimes it's longer. Explain the need for future approvals by the insurer and or appraisers and what the response time is in normal situations. According to CrashRepairInfo.com, the use of OE parts can help speed up repairs. Here are a few reasons why, as stated by CrashRepairInfo.com. When a part fits properly, the technician can install the part and move on to the next operation. When a part does not fit correctly, the technician must either take more time to attempt to make the part fit properly, possibly compromising the quality of the repair and the final appearance of the vehicle, or try another part. Ordering another part can cause a delay of a day or more. Vehicle manufacturers don't recommend the use of salvage parts. Sometimes, however, a salvage part is specified for the repair. When this happens, the salvage part may need to be reconditioned, cleaned up, have small dents removed, and have the paint completely sanded before it is ready to be fitted to the vehicle. Also, the use of multiple parts suppliers may slow the repair process. Educating and communicating with the vehicle owner from the beginning to the end of the repair will create the best customer experience possible. And managing the time you spend doing this will ensure that your productivity and profits don't suffer.